Hello everyone and welcome back to Love Notions. I'm Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery and I'm here to talk about the Vivace. The wonderful, wonderful Vivace top and dress, which is today's Feature Friday pattern. Okay, guys, we are going to be talking not only about the pattern, but about picking fabric, appropriate fabric for our Vivaces. Um, I know that that can be a hang-up point for a lot of people, especially if you're newer to sewing, on picking the appropriate fabric, and it can make or break a garment. <laughs> it's also nice to know what the pattern designer had intended before making, uh, choosing your fabric, and also knowing when to break the rules and why you might want to break the rules, um, depending on different looks that you may want to be getting. So let's get into it. So the Vivace is a top and dress pattern. It is a style that features a grown on sleeve. It has this gorgeous pleat that's here at the front. Um, a beautiful V neckline. Again, top version. Um, as well as a dress version. Uh, it fits high bust, so we're measuring our high bust right underneath our armpits above our breast tissue of 31 inches up to 55 inches and a hip from 35 and a half inches up to 59 and a half inches. So a really good size range that we've got there um, with lots of variations. It comes with a standard bust front or a full bust front. Um, if you've got more than a, uh, I think it's three inch difference between your high bust and full bust, they do recommend the um, full bust pieces. I have a four inch difference between mine and I always use the full bust pieces and it saves me from having to do full bust adjustments. It's brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk a little bit about, I have two versions behind me, um, a knit version and a woven version. So one thing I would like to point out, this pattern is drafted for both knits and wovens. However, do be careful if you have different pattern pieces for the um, knits versus the wovens. So they have drafted a little bit different um, pieces. So just make sure if you've printed off, you know, the woven dress or the woven top to only use that on your woven fabrics versus if you printed off the knit fabric, um, the knit version, use that for your knits. So just be aware of that, that there are um, two different files, or not files, two different um, pieces, sections of pieces, and that's all right there in the pattern on which page numbers to print off for your um, style that you're making and the fabric that you are choosing. The pattern does recommend fabrics with drape. So let's talk about drape, both this goes for knits and for wovens um, as well, but let's talk about drape a little bit. So drape, it was referring to how um, heavy a fabric um, falls. So this, for instance, this is a rayon uh, jersey. So it has a lot of drape. It, um, it falls heavily on itself versus a cotton spandex which does not collapse in on itself. You can kind of see the difference there between a rayon that collapses and a more bodied cotton spandex. So both of these are knits. This one has a lot more body than your drapier rayon jersey. The same for wovens. Um, so the recommendation for drapier knits would be a rayon or a viscose jersey. Um, usually with spandex content, you need at least 40% stretch um, and you want good recovery. So you do want a little bit of spandex in that. ITY knits work really great for this pattern, as well as anything with modal or tinsel um, or lyocell. Those are all kind of in the rayon viscose family. They all have beautiful drape in them. Just make sure you've got a little bit of spandex because you do want that recovery, which means it, it you know stretches, but then it pops back into its regular shape again. Um, those are all beautiful and recommended for this pattern. When it comes to wovens, you also want something with drape. So for instance, this is a rayon chalet. So you've got um, a little bit of drape versus a cotton, I mean, it doesn't even like fall in on itself, <laughs> a cotton lawn. So both similar weight and that they are both lightweight fabrics, but this is just much more bodied than the rayon. You know, it has more drape, it, it's floppier. All the adjectives. <laughs> So this pattern recommends um, fabrics with drape as well for your wovens, which would be like any kind of a chalet, um, crepe, um, anything with tinsel in it, silk, beautiful if you wanted to go really fancy, do some beautiful drape your silk. Um, but those are all fabrics that have wonderful um, drape to it. And when it comes to silk, that can be a little... Um, misgiving. You want silk like a silk charmeuse or a silk crepe. Um, that is the weave of the pattern which makes it a little bit more um, drapier. So for instance a silk dupioni or a silk shantung is very bodied and does not have the drape that you would want. So you just want things that will flow over your curves. 
Now, why would you choose knit versus um, woven? This can be, a, I mean, personal preference. Do you enjoy wearing knits? I find that um, I do enjoy wearing knits. I think that they feel a little bit more casual to me, you know, with all things considered than a woven. Um, although, you know, you can go dressy or casual with either. Um, I find that knits tend to cling a little bit more, especially in these drapier fabrics. So um, any kind of lumps and bumps, while this is a skimming pattern, it doesn't really cling um, just from the drafting of it. But, you know, it's gonna show your bra straps a little bit more or maybe the different rolls it'll cling to versus wovens will always skim over those parts um, a lot better. So just something to keep in mind um, when you're choosing whether you want to go woven or knit. Um, and again, I think that the woven can go just a little bit, you know, nicer. Um, but I tell you, after I've made now a knit version of the top and a woven version of the dress, I'm ready to make a knit version of the dress and a woven version of the top. So <laughs> it's, it's addicting. I'm just going to warn you before anything else. So the other thing to consider when we're talking about drape is, well, can I make this dress out of a linen or a cotton? Yeah, of course you can. Um, you can use fabric that is more bodied, that is stiffer, whether in the knit category or the woven category. Just know these are going to stand off the body a little bit more. So the nature of this pattern is that it is, it's not really fitted anywhere. It's meant to kind of glide over any kind of curves or any part of the body, be nice and relaxed. If you're using a fabric such as a linen or um, any kind of a cotton lawn or a cotton shirting, um, any of those with more drape, and those also go with the knit category, any cotton knits, any um, well linen knits, unless you've got some viscose in there, then a linen knit can be very nice and drapey. That's the key. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second too, why that is the key. Um, just know though that those are gonna stand off from the body a little bit more, which may be exactly what you want. If you're someone that is looking to add a little bit more um, volume on your upper half in order to balance out your bottom half, for instance, this could be a great trick. Just make something in a little bit more bodied fabric and you'll get a better balance. Um, versus if you're someone that's a little uh, more top heavy and you want to de-emphasize your upper body, and you know draw the eye to the lower body, then these drapier fabrics are definitely your friend because it's gonna fall in, the fabric falls in, collapses in on itself. So it's gonna give you a little bit closer to body look. So you can break the rules, you can always break the rules. That's what's great about sewing. But knowing how to break the rules or why you would want to break the rules is the real key. Then you're not going to end up with those um, garments that end up being fails and you can't figure out why. A lot of times it can be, you maybe broke the rules, but it wasn't in the way that you intended. You didn't, it wasn't the result that you intended. So just be aware when you're picking fabrics, the designer intended for these to have drape. You can use fabrics that are more bodied, but just know the effect that they're going to have and make sure that that's something that you want to have in your final garment. Okay, and then just a little last little bit to kind of wrap things up. Um, why things with tinsel and viscose and uh, modal are drapier? It's the weight of the fiber. So these are natural fibers that have gone through a man-made process, a chemical process that just makes them weightier. They're just a heavier fiber. So that weight is what makes the fabric collapse on itself and gives it that beautiful drape. So just kind of a little lesson, fabric lesson there for you. So guys, that's all I have for today. If you do not have the Vivace in your Love Notions catalog yet, go grab it today. It is $5 today only, and you're going to want this one in. This is my first time making up this pattern, and it will definitely not be my last. That is all I have for today. If you'd like to see more about Tomcat Stitchery, I am here on YouTube as well, and my channel will be linked down below. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little segment on Vivace, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!